Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin where it is freezing here. <laughs> it is only five degrees. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. I have a friend out in California who always got a big kick out of our temperature differences and she always, you know, said that saying, why do you live someplace where when you go outside it hurts your face? I don't know. It's beautiful here, and this is where my parents started me. <laughs> so, hi Lisa, hi Jeanette, welcome. I'm so happy to see so many of you popping in here. Nancy's here. We've got Kay in tonight, excellent. I hope you guys have had a good week. Um, as you can tell, I am feeling much better. I am probably 100% as of maybe yesterday, I was feeling okay a couple days ago, but just kind of okay, you know. Um, you could still tell that I was kind of a little weary, but yeah, I, I don't know what kind of bug I had, but um, it wasn't COVID, and I'm fine. And hi, Connie, I'm happy to see you here. Connie put together a big document for me from our training group. She's one of my team members. And um, it was a index of all of our training calls and little tidbits about what they were about. So it'll be easy to find um, things about different items when we need to go there. Connie, you did a fantastic job. Thank you. Hi, Debbie from Arkansas. And I've got Sue on here the, tonight. And Jane is popping in. So, um, yeah, it's cold here. We had Haley and Jared here for breakfast this morning, and I made homemade waffles and bacon. Yum. Love me some bacon, right? With homemade maple syrup from my team member, Cindy Ellers, who hopefully will pop on here tonight. Um, her family has kind of a, not kind of, she has a, a maple syrup operation. It's very interesting, but they make some fabulous maple syrup, so... Um, kind of funny, I took maple syrup with me to Wyoming. I took a, um, a quart of it out there. And um, Barb and Dina did not care for it. <laughs> I'm like, you don't like maple syrup? Like, I can't even imagine that. They like the Aunt Jemima stuff. And, uh, but the sheriff liked the maple syrup. So I said, well, if you guys don't like it, I'll take it home with me. But he liked it, so I left it there. I hope he's enjoying that maple syrup. So yeah, we had Val here. This morning, oh my gosh, she's so funny, and her hair is just long enough that Haley did French braids in the back with little pigtails sticking out. <laughs> so cute. She had in her little Packer outfit, which did not help the Packers win today. They lost. It was, it was kind of, it was a little painful to watch, but um, they played the Lions, and they had all their second, third string in because they didn't need to win this game. So. I think if Aaron Rodgers had been in there, we would have been fine. Hi, Arlene. Happy to see you here. I've got Diana coming in. So our Packers lost today. That was a bummer. But while I was watching the game, I was making all kinds of fabulous stuff. So, yay. Hi, Jane. Happy to see you here from Wisconsin. And Sherry loves real maple syrup. So we're kind of snobs about the maple syrup. Like when Steve and I, once in a while, will go out for breakfast and I will bring a little bottle of maple syrup with because I don't want the restaurant crap. <laughs> See, I told you I was a snob about it. <laughs> so we just bring our own. Mm, love it. Okay, um, I just had something weird pop up on my screen. Activate a stars party. We are having a stars party. Doesn't Facebook know us? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Anyhow, um, so we had Val and Jared and Haley here for breakfast this morning. And then um, while they were here, Molly called. And Molly's household doesn't get up very early, so they're not breakfast people. And uh, Molly called and said, can I come over? Yep. So then we had Molly the rest of the day. Haley and Jared and Val went home. So that was fun. And cute thing, Molly has been playing with... Um, Val's. Well, I bought a kitchen. It's not necessarily Val's because now Molly's playing with it, but I bought a little kitchen with a little, I got a little chair and um, two chairs and a table, little, 
and then a little kitchenette thing that has a washing machine and a little crib and you know the cupboard doors and a sink and Molly has been playing with that and it is so so cute like I it just warms my heart she's 10 right so um, I've never seen her play with dolls like ever so this is really cute uh, so Molly came over she, Steve just took her home a little while ago and what else? This weekend was super busy. We had an open house with um, videos on Friday and videos on Saturday for our Stamp Happy Academy. You guys, if you follow me on Facebook, you saw me posting all of those on there. I hope you enjoyed them. There was some stamping presentations in them and we gave a fabulous tour of the Stamp Happy Academy website, the various areas of it. So it was pretty cool. Who said that? Tanya said Facebook Kelly is kind of a big deal. <laughs> I have my shirt that says I'm kind of a big deal in Wisconsin. So yeah. <laughs> Let's not get a big head about that. Oh, hang on. I just touched something. I'm going to move my comments up so I can see what's coming in. <laughs> um, so we had the Stamp Happy Academy tour an open house this weekend, so that was really fun. Um, we are giving away three month memberships, so a one month membership, three different kinds. We're gonna give away a basic, a premium, and a Stamp Happy Live, and all you have to do to get entered in that drawing is to share those videos. The more times you, if you share all three of them, you'll get three entries. And we're going to be announcing that winner, um, I think, tomorrow or sometime this week. Don't quote me on that. Um, I was a little foggy because I was still kind of like, ugh. But um, I got through it. I perked up for my videos. That's all that mattered, right? <laughs> Hi, Jan Karstensen. I'm happy to see you here. Um, so, anyways, check out the Stamp Happy Academy information. And if nothing else, share those videos because that really helps us get the word out about the subscription website and it'll enter you to win a, a month. You'll get a month subscription if you win, and you can check it out. If you're already a member, you will get a refund for your month. So uh, you pay and you'll get a refund. All right, new catalog kickoff. We still have the new catalog kickoff going on until the 18th of January. Now, there is a ton of fun in here. If you are a Stamp Happy Academy basic or premium member, you get the catalog kickoff for free. If you're not, you can purchase it for $10. That is just pittance to the creative inspiration that you'll get. We are featuring the new spring JJ mini catalog products. Um, we're gonna have three live events. There's card challenges, mystery stamping, prizes for this stuff. Um, a free gift for all attendees. There's a sample gallery that will have 15, 30, 45 cards in it. Holy cow. We will do three live stamping classes. There's a make and take packet that you can add on to your registration if you choose. It'll have nine pre-cut cards in it for make and takes. Um, games, tons and tons of fun, $10. $10. I know. It's amazing. We want to share the love. So um, that information, you can email me if you want that information. You'll find it on my blog. You'll find it on my Facebook page. Um, I've got that kind of all over. Now, this coming week, so this started on January 5th, but um, the card challenge has happened, the mystery stamping. So you haven't really missed much. Barb is going to be live on Tuesday at 11 a.m. Central Time. I'm going to be live on Friday the 14th at 6 p.m. Central Time. Dina's going to be live on Tuesday the 18th at 3 p.m. Central Time. So the live classes haven't started yet. And if you happen to not be available to watch the stuff when it's happening live, it's all recorded so you can come back and watch it just like my Facebook Lives are here. So that's a nice feature. Um, guess who has a birthday next weekend? Yeah, my husband, not me, my husband is going to be another year older, and I always tease him that he's older than dirt. <laughs> His birthday is on January 16th, and we are going to be going to a fantastic supper club between here and Fond du Lac um, called, oh, 
is it blanks? Are we going to blank? I think we're going to blanks. So for those of you that are live around here, you know what blanks is. <sighs> Gonna have me some Southern Comfort Old Fashioned Sweets and it's Steve's birthday, so I will be eating lobster. That's my thing. His birthday, I eat lobster. <laughs> so he made sure that he picked a place for um, all of us. It's two high school buddies of his and their significant others and me and him. He picked a place that has lobster, so I'm pretty excited. Yeah, uh, let's see. Mickey says the open house is there one or more. I don't know what you mean, Mickey. Please explain that. Um, there are three different videos for the open house. I did a video tour of the Stamp Happy Academy website and told you all the glorious things about it. <laughs> Elaine says blanks is the best. I know, right? And then um, Barb did a uh, video on the online classes. Now, when you join Stamp Happy Academy, we are celebrating a year with Stamp Happy Academy. We add four classes every month, four classes every single month. So when you join, you have access to all those classes from 2021. So there's 48 classes on there, online classes. They're amazing. So just know, if you join with a premium membership, you can watch um, all the Stamp Happy Lives, too, that we did for a whole year. It's amazing. <laughs> Jolene says her husband is older than dirt, too. And Ingrid's birthday is the 16th, too. Well, happy birthday early, Ingrid. Yay! Where do I look for the other? Um, they are on the Stamp Happy Academy uh, Facebook page. They're also on my blog, www.astampabove.com. Just scroll down, you will see them. They're um, fairly close. You know, you don't have to go for pages, but they're fairly close. Otherwise, you can go to um, do a search on Facebook for Stamp Happy Academy, and that group will pop in. You can click on it and head over there, and you'll find the information there also. But they're on my blog. They're on my blog. They're on my Facebook page where you are right now here, too. So, whew. All right. Um, so we have Steve's birthday next weekend, so that'll be fun. I always like getting together with his high school friends. I'm pretty good friends with them, too. As a matter of fact, Mike and Vicki, um, Steve went to school with both of them. He actually went to prom or homecoming with Vicki, <laughs> so it's kind of funny. But um, they're coming down to visit us when we go to Florida, so that'll be fun. I have a John update. Finally, some information, some news on John, right? So are you guys ready for this? His wife waved at Steve. Holy cow. <laughs> he told me that she waved at me. He goes, I do kind of have that effect on women. <laughs> so if you guys have ever heard my stories about John and his wife, his wife, I don't know, I don't know what her deal is. I don't know if she's just super shy or I don't know, but she has never, ever waved or been friendly or said hello or nothing. Like when she pulls in her driveway, our driveway's here. She pulls in her driveway. If I happen to be out there someplace, she will pull in her driveway like this and not look at me. I don't know why. I've never done anything to her. So it's kind of weird, right? But Steve was out there blowing snow the other day, and he's blowing snow coming this way, and she pulls in like this, and he waved at her, and she waved back. How nice. And he does have that effect on women. <laughs> I laughed and laughed when he said that, because of course he would say that. Yeah. Um, anyways, I just wanted to update you guys on all my classes. I've got the Sweet Talk Valentine class happening. I'm going to hold these cards up for you. Now, these are exclusive. I don't show these because I think the element of surprise is fun, right? But here are the cards for the Sweet Talk online kit class that is available on my blog. Also, I am sharing, included in the class are some of the um, sweet little boxes, these cute little boxes. So I am sharing four little boxes as a bonus with the class. You get pre-cut cardstock to make um, eight cards, four different designs, two of each. Plus, you'll get some ideas for these sweet um, sweet little boxes. You also get, where is my sweet talk? You get um, half a pack of the boxes, so five of the little boxes, the iridescent rhinestones, which I have to tell you, I cannot stop using these. They are my new 
favorite for sure. Ooh, Jan's birthday is the 16th too. Yay, Jan. Um, you also get a roll of the red ribbon and the Sweet Talk Designer Series paper, which I'll be showing you in a little bit. So lots of stuff in that kit. It is $54.50. You can add on the bundle. And if you need the gingham embossing folder, you can add that on too. Next up, that was Sweet Talk Valentine class. Um, oh, and by the way, I actually have that all cut and ready to compile. And I would have it going out in the mail tomorrow, except for some fluke, I ordered 40 of these rhinestone packs and I got one in my box. So I'll be calling Stampin' Up tomorrow and they will get it out to me second day air. It's, it's so rare that I have any type of thing missing from my order. It just figures that I'm trying to get all my eggs in a row and I'm still going to get this kit out a week earlier than I said. So yay me! <laughs> Hi Linda, I'm glad to see you here too. Um, so we have Sweet Talk. Then we just, I just threw out our online class that I do with Dina and Barb. It is the Slimline Sayings bundle. Super excited about this. Now in this class, you're going to get nine different card designs, pre-cut card stock for all of those. Plus you're going to get the polished dots, which are new and a pack of the Slimline envelopes. That kit is $47.50. If you would like all of the things, the slimline bundle, the slimline envelopes, the symbols of fortune designer series paper, and the polish dots, it's $130. All of those prices include tax and shipping. And um, that kit is going to go out of here before the end of the month, too. We're going to do, there's nine different card designs. We're going to do six slimline size cards and three regular normal size, you know, like, like normal size cards so that you can get the most out of this benefit. Um, you know what? That's a great question. I saw somebody just asked a question if gift cards will fit in these boxes. And I actually double checked that yesterday. They do. Look at that. This is a gift card for Domino's Pizza and it fits right in this little box. So you could put some candy in here. Whoops. Let's do this. Some candy in here. Isn't that cute? And you can put a gift card in there. So yes, these fit the gift cards. I was so excited when I learned that. So I'm glad you asked about that. Um, next, I just released Bingo. So everything's kind of piled up at once, you guys. And I apologize for that. I usually try to spread things out more. But I was sick and I just didn't have the energy to do all of the coding and stuff to get all of these class signups ready in a more staggered uh, time frame. So I apologize for that, but I know you guys get it. When you don't feel good, you just don't feel good, right? So um, Bingo just released today with Bingo. We're going to be playing a month early. Uh, a month early. <laughs> We're going to be playing a week early on January 19th. We will have a card class where I am going to make five different cards, and then we play a game of a Bingo in between. That is $35. Now, with the bingo this month, we're going to be using the Hedgehog Happiness. Oh, Happy Hedgehog, sorry. This is a bundle with the stamp set and the punch. Super, super cute cards planned. For the record, which I just think is fun and retro, and you're going to love the cards with this. And the amazing silhouettes, which I pulled out today to use to design some cards for tonight but that didn't happen. <laughs> I went on a whole different tangent and I know you're going to love it. But so these are the pro, these are the bundles that we're using for bingo. Oops, sorry. Bingo this month. So I just wanted to let you know that um bingo's $35. When you register, you get to play. Prizes vary on how many people register. So what I do is um bingo comes with Adhesive backed hexagons, which is a brand new um, embellishment, the brass butterflies, brand new embellishment, envelopes, and a half a pack of designer series paper. That comes with your $35 for the class. Over and above what I pay for those products is what I choose to give back to you in prizes. When you win, you win a gift certificate from me. So, you, um, it, it, it depends on how many people register to play. If we have more people, the prizes are bigger. If we have less people, the prizes are smaller. But the prizes are always fabulous. 
um, first place is usually fifty dollars. Second, second winner, first winner, second winner, seventy-five dollars. Third winner is a hundred, and fourth winner is one hundred and fifty dollars. Gift certificates to buy anything that you want. Who got in a car accident? Tracy said her daughter's best friend. Oh no, I'm so sorry. That's really sad. I can't read your whole message on here, but oh, I'm sorry about that car accident. That just makes me really sad. Um, I do have some good news though. You know, when I talk about my hot flash cooling mist, this was sent to me by Wendy, who I asked you guys to pray for last week. And let me tell you, the power of prayer is strong because Wendy actually got to go home today. Yay! So Wendy is always on here. I hope she's watching tonight. She said she would be. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to be able to share that information with you. Thank you guys all so much for your prayers because they worked. She is out of the hospital and she is um, home tonight and I hope she's watching or sleeping. Wendy? You take care of yourself, right? Janice says, bingo is fun. Thank you so much. Yes, Tracy, sending prayers for your daughter and the family. That's really um, sad. I'm just so, that's really rough too. Teenagers have a hard enough time, right? Oh, so, so, so sorry. Um, What else? Don't forget, sharing is caring. You can share this video right now, someplace on your screen, on your uh, on your device is a share button. Click that and share it. That really helps me grow my audience and grow my business. Um, if you're on Facebook, can you give me a thumbs up? Everybody can click on that thumbs up. That also really helps me out and I appreciate it. If you're watching later on YouTube, if you can um, give me a thumbs up on there and make sure you leave a comment. There are three ways to win prizes, you guys, by commenting, by sharing, and by ordering. So, Let's get to our prizes. Don't let me forget to show you my mail because I have some amazing cards to share with you. Prizes, here we go. Now, let's see. For commenting last time, I have Kathy Card Tynan from Jacksonville, North Carolina. You are the winner for your comment on my last um, Facebook Live. You are going to get these beautiful blue adhesive uh, backed gems. These were sent to us, I think, by Terry. I believe Terry sent them. And if I'm wrong, I'm really sorry, but you know I have a terrible memory. Um, to share. No, it wasn't Terry. It was somebody else. I don't know, but I told you last week. <laughs> so if you need to know, you can go back there and look. <laughs> Thank you, whoever sent them. Please never think that I'm ungrateful. I just don't remember things. You guys know this about me. And then, as a bonus, I'm going to throw in a Berry Blessing stamp set just because I can. Yay! Next up, we have, for sharing my video last week, I am going to be sending the Paper Lattice. Yeah, Paper Lattice. I'm like, is that what that says? Paper Lattice. These are fantastic for stamping, adding to scrapbook pages. Wonderful. And as a bonus... I'm throwing in a touch of ink. And these are going to Karen West of Melrose Park, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Let me put this over here so I don't get this confused. Oops. Let me get this back on here. Last but not least, we have for placing an order between last week and this week, everybody goes in a drawing. I have the Wintry 3D embossing folders. These are our smaller embossing folders. Um, there are some beautiful snowflakes, perfect for this time of year, and also some pine boughs. You get two embossing folders in here. And as a bonus, I'm throwing in Darling Donkeys, because I can. That is going out to Pat Soper of Athens, Pennsylvania. Congratulations, Pat. Woohoo! I'm excited to give these away. I will get these in the mail tomorrow. I have all of your addresses, so you don't need to worry about that. Let me set over there so I don't lose track of them in all the things that are about to pile up here, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, let me think. Have you guys seen the new Light the Candles card kit? It is brand new from Stampin' Up. <gasps> I'm going to show it to you tonight. Yay! Oh, I can't hardly wait. I opened it and looked at it and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to play with this. This is fun. I'm also going to be showing you my DSP samplers for all the designer paper. 
And um, a little tidbit, a little fun fact, a fact about rewards when you place orders. Excuse me, my nose is giving me a little bit of trouble right now. I'm still kind of, you know, got the congestion going. But the rest of it is fine. And I had this all set up, but I didn't open up the video. So now I have to go find it. So take a drink. <laughs> there I am. Here we go. I need to see your comments when I turn you around. Okay. Oh, I think. Take a breath. Somebody said to me last week, take a breath, Kelly. I know I just have so much information, but I want to get to the stamping. <laughs> right? Hi, Kay. Hi, Barbara. You guys are so sweet. Congratulations to all the winners. Yes, that is always fantastic. Okay. Let me take a drink. All of a sudden, I'm just kind of congested. I hope you guys aren't making me sick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hang on. We're going to turn this camera around so we can get started. And there we go. Hang tight. I'm going to get you loaded in here and try and get you straight. If anybody was wondering about that cooling mist, <laughs> Wendy sent this to me. Hot flash cooling mist. Don't spray it in your eyes because it burns. <laughs> That's what I did the first time. I like sprayed it in my eyes, but you just missed yourself with it. And it really does make you feel cooler. So bless her heart, right? Okay. Let me get my cords out of the way. Oh, I don't know if I ever showed this to you guys. I'm going to show it to you again if I didn't. Um, hang on, getting it undone here. I actually have a badge that will get me into Stampin' Up's headquarters in um, Riverton, Utah. And that, I got this at my million dollar trip there. It says million dollars, right? And so I can, I can, um, what do they call that? Where you put this, I can scan this to get into Stampin' Up. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So I just happened to see that um, hanging here and I'm like, you know, I don't know if I ever showed that to anybody. So yay. Okay. A couple things I want to show you. Um, I've had some people asking me recently about rewards. Now, I just want to explain what they are. Um, rewards, when your order goes over $150, and this is not a compiled order like you ordered a couple weeks ago and you're going to order again. It's one order goes over $150, you... Oh, Linda says, try misting the back of your neck. That's a good idea. <laughs> um you get 10% in rewards, which means 150 times 10%. We'll do that hard math. It's $15. You get $15 to spend on absolutely anything you want to buy, okay? But this mischievous mice and the expressions of friendship, that's the only time that you can buy these host-only stamp sets. Now, these are the two that are in the Spring JJ Mini Catalog. There's also some in the back of our annual catalog. Let me find them. Here they are on page 170 and 171. And again, it explains the rewards here. And then we have this, 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 and that's where that wonderful black and white and then colorful paper pattern party is coming from. You can buy these with your reward money. And you'll notice that like this paper, you get 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. That is a huge pack of paper for only $18. It's valued at $30. These are all deeply discounted so you can use them with your rewards. And the other question that I've been getting is, well, um, if I only have $15 in rewards and this costs $18, can I still get it? Yes, you can. You will just pay the difference. So I just wanted to clarify that so that everybody understands what those rewards are. You Again, you can buy anything you want with the rewards, but when you have reward money, you can only buy these with reward money. I hope that makes sense because it's kind of a little confusing. <laughs> Paula says, the paper is awesome. Yay. I see we have a troll on too. You guys go ahead and take care of him. I know that you are fierce. <laughs> okay. I wanted to show you this kit. This is called Light the Candles Card Kit. And this is the way that our kits come. They're in these really nice little boxes. And here comes the newest kit from Stampin' Up. Oh, Melinda says, oh, sorry, you are answering my question. You are more than welcome. 
Um, here is, let me get some more light on this. Here is the instructions that come with the kit. And they're really step-by-step. -step. That makes this a super good gift for your friends that may not be stampers, for elderly people because everything is contained in one little box. All they need are scissors and glue or adhesive. So everything is in the kit. It's got instructions, or you can do whatever you want with it. You don't have to make the cards like this, okay? And then you get a little stamp set. Let's see if I have, is there something? Let's see if I have some white paper around here. Oh, I think I do. Here's our little stamp set. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 stamps in it. And you're like, well, but how are people going to use these if they're not stampers? Oh, don't worry. It comes with an acrylic block. So all of these will fit on this block. It even comes with an ink spot. So they get their block, they get their ink. Again, all they need is scissors and adhesive to be able to do this. It comes with some cute embellishments. Love these little pearls. They're glitter pearls or um, dots, I should say. It comes with all these fabulous. These are glitter embossed, which is really cool. Look at these. Hang on. How fun is that? Yeah, it's um, a die cut, laser die cut. We've also got this with the glitter, embossed glitter again. And then this one. Isn't that fun? Yeah, so that's included in the kit. Plus, you get all these fun envelopes with, they're lined, really cute on the inside. Oops, let me find the yellow one here. Okay, so you get these matching envelopes and card bases. These are all scored for you. This is the outside of the card. All you do is fold down the score line and you're ready to rock. You put them together again, according to the directions or however you want to make quick and easy cards. I think this is probably one of the best kits as far as I'm concerned because everybody needs birthday cards, right? It also has mini glue dots that you just pick off with your scissors to use. It has some um, die cut little labels, some bigger labels, some bigger labels, and then foam strips to... <clears throat> These are like dimensionals, but they're strips so that you can mount these up a little bit higher so you get that peekaboo window see-through deal. So this is our kit. The kit, I believe, oh, I forgot to look at how much it is. I think it's $19, and I believe it makes, let me look, I don't want to lie to you, uh, eight cards. Eight cards and eight envelopes is in here. So it makes eight cards. Everything is here. So, so fun. And I think there's a QR code that you can scan with your phone and it'll take you to a video that will, if you're a beginner, it will help you learn stamping basics. And this is all about the kit. So you can scan this with your phone like you do a menu when you go into a restaurant, you just scan this and it's gonna take you right to a video. Isn't that the coolest thing? Yes, Marsha said the kit is $19. Thank you so much, Marsha. I, that's what I thought too. But anyways, this is a kit and it is a fantastic gift for um, somebody who doesn't stamp, for somebody who does stamp, for an elderly person that would like something to do. Maybe they're in assisted living and they don't have a lot of space to collect all the things we collect, but Boy, you could certainly have a box like this, right? And then once you're done with the kit, all that's really left is the block and the stamp set and the ink pad. So it's pretty cool. I highly recommend these for gifts. So I just wanted to show that to you. And now I wanted to show you my DSP samplers. I always get somebody who um, asks how I make these. So I'm gonna explain that just for a second. I take a piece of white cardstock and I print out the information for my designer paper on here. I've got the name of it. I've got the coordinating colors, which are all on the back of every pack of designer paper we sell. 
and then I put the item code on it. And the fact that this is our friendly hello is free with a $100 purchase. This is 12 by 12. You get two sheets of each design and they are double sided. Okay. So you print out a sheet with this on it and then you cut your designer paper two by two and then punch out some little shapes. These are one inch circles of the coordinating colors and I run them down the middle. My helper, Kathy Miller, actually made all of these for me. Bless her heart. Okay, this is the Symbols of Fortune specialty paper. This is the paper that we're including um, in option number one of the Slimline Sayings online class. Now, if you're going to get option number two, you're going to need this paper. So you'll want to have that. This is the paper we're going to be using. It is not included in your kit. Here's the Artfully Composed Designer Series paper. Again, beautiful, beautiful images. This is another celebration paper. <coughs> Excuse me. This is Daffodil Afternoon DSP. This is free with a $50 order. And again, 12 by 12, you get two sheets of each. This is one side, this is another. This is one side, this is another. Here is another free paper, Simply Marbleless. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. Let's see, do I have some cards? Yes, I do. I have cards made with this. Let me grab them quick. These are from my bingo class last month. Isn't that cute? But here's that marble paper. Here it is again here and the other side over here. So you'll see that you've got marble on, or marble on one side and then like, ooh, almost like water. Look at how this looks like water on here. Isn't that beautiful? So this is the Simply Marvelous paper. This is six by six and it is free with a $50 order until the end of February. During our um, celebration promotion, which I am looking for my little booklet right now and I'm sure that I'm never gonna find it because, oh, I did find it. Woo, this is celebration. If you do not have our current catalogs, please contact me. I would be happy to mail them to you. Everybody needs catalogs, right? So free with, whoops, free with the $50 order. This is the Flowering Fields Designer Series paper. And oh my goodness, I haven't used this yet, but I can't hardly wait. Dina used this pattern in the um, Stamp Happy Academy video that she did on Saturday to make a really, really pretty card. And I think she used the daffodil paper to make another pretty card. So in that presentation, are she's making cards for you, which is fantastic. Here is the Hay Sports Fan. This is some really fun paper. I really like this. And great for masculine cards. Abstract Beauty. This is four by six and, you know, double-sided. Absolutely gorgeous. And then the New Horizons is six by six. Beautiful, beautiful um, watercolor patterns. And one side usually looks like some type of a landscape, like watercolor landscape, use your imagination. The other side is like a watercolor. It's just, they're so pretty. So that's how I make my designer series paper packets. Um, I actually don't just use these to show you guys. Um, I actually use these when I'm designing. I will go through here. It's so much easier for me to see them in real life and go, oh, there's a purple. Here's a purple. I want to make a purple card. Where else is purple? You know, for me to go through here. And then once I decide to pick, I can then see what are my color coordination cardstock so I know which colors to pick that are going to look really nice with the paper pattern that I pick, right? Okay. Whew. Yvette says the card with the kids on the bike is so cute. I know. That is called Right Behind right behind You stamp set, and it is adorable. Okay, are we ready to stamp? Ah, I think we're ready. Yay! I am going to be sharing a Valentine card with you. Well, first, before we get to stamping, I want to let you guys know that... Um, this is my current host code. You'll find my ordering buttons on my blog, www.estampabove.com. This is the current host code. If you use this code, you want to use it when your order is under $150. That allows me to get prizes to give away because um, there's rewards 
but not if your order is under $150. But when you use this code, all those rewards get pooled into one workshop, and then I can use it to order prizes. So if you use this host code when your order is under $150, don't use the code if it's over $150 because you're going to get those rewards from Stampin' Up! I want you to have them. We're going to be using the Nuts and Bolts Valentine set tonight. This is not only Valentine, but it's a birthday set. And I just think that these little robot images are stinking adorable. Greetings, kind human. I am nuts and bolts about you. HB to you. That's happy birthday to you. You make my heart go beep. We have hearts here. And then these three adorable little um, robots. Now, this is great for boy cards. Um, it's also great for girl cards. So let me grab all my supplies here. I'm going to be using the heart. Um, isn't this called the heart punch pack, I think? Um, you can get either one of the... Well, do these come together? God oh, darn it. I hate to give you guys bad information. So hang on. Let me look and find out. It is. You get them both. The heart punch pack. You get both big punches for $34. So, and don't forget, if you hit $50, you get to choose a free celebration item. So if you don't have any bigger heart punches, I highly recommend them. I love punches because life is easy. This is the Sweet Talk Designer Series paper. Urgh, love this. It's so fun and colorful. And of course, that's what my class uses this month. And that's what I use to make these adorable, sweet little boxes. Yeah, aren't they cute? So this is the Sweet Talk Designer Series paper. And let's see, we've, oh, we're gonna do that after we make the card. So let me get my card stuff out here. I've got a bunch of different colors to show you because you know I kind of like to do that. I, I always think it's a shame to make one card in one color if you could make several cards in several different colors out of the same design, right? I mean, I, it just makes life easy. Diane says she loves punches too. I love punches. They're just quick and easy. And Nancy loves the sweet talk paper. Oh, I am so with you. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot a paper plate. Oh, and I just took out my garbage. Oh my good Lord. What am I going to do? Hang on. I got to figure something out. Oh, I know what I can do. Whew. <laughs> I forgot to grab a paper plate and we're going to be playing with... Um, shaving cream. I'm going to grab one of my cases. I know it's really kind of filthy and gross looking, but we'll use this and that will work just fine. Okay. I've got my credit card here. Um, let me bring in my paper. So what I'm going to demonstrate for you, this is our grid paper, by the way, this is available to any, for anybody to purchase. It's in the big catalog, or you can look it up on the online store just put in the just type in grid and this is the big grid paper we have small grid paper and big grid paper so i'm going to be using this um oh my good grief hang on i gotta get the shaving cream take a drink i'll be right back I just put it back in my shower today. <laughs> what was I thinking? Okay, so this is shaving cream as opposed to shaving gel. Shaving cream is the one that you need to use. And I'll grab my cardstock layers here. Here we go. This, whoops, this. And we've got an envelope here. And then our cardstock layers. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to, uh, did I grab a scrap? Yeah, here's my scrap. Okay, so um, we're gonna do the shaving cream first because I wanna have time for that to dry. And this is just regular shaving cream technique. So I've got some shaving cream here. I have this on my list, it's almost empty. And oh my good Lord, I know it's not, you know, shave your, it's not shave your legs like once a week season here in Wisconsin, so I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, 
Okay, so hang on, I'm reading what you just said here. Has anyone placed an order today? I did, but I was not able to order any celebration items that I have already ordered. Nope, that's not right. Um, the computer said I could only get one of any item because of promotion restrictions. Um, Debbie, that is not the case for celebration. And um, you need to contact me because something isn't quite right there. You can order as many of those as you have. You know, if you, if you spend $150, you get three celebration items at level one. So there's also level two items that are $100. You have to spend $100 to get one. So um, you contact me and we'll get that figured out, okay? So I'm glad you're talking about it. Anyways, let me go back here. Highland Heather is what I'm using and also Bermuda Bay. This is one of my favorite shaving cream color combinations. I absolutely love it. And I am sharing this with you because we're gonna make a card with the nuts and bolts stamp set. And this is my Technique Club card for the month of, Jan of um, December. So if you join my Technique Club, you get a card using a Technique every month, plus you get a um, instruction sheet. Well, thank goodness I didn't put my paper towel away. This is just a plastic spoon I'm using here. And now what I like to do, like you can take your cardstock and you can dip it in here and then scrape it off on the edge. I like to use something that has um, an edge, like a paper plate with an edge or an edge like this to scrape your shaving cream off. But what I've actually found is that oops, if you take just a gift card and you pick up some of your shaving cream, and you can take it and you can just go like this. And then you can scrape this. And it cleans up all the mess. Ready? That's done. This is done. And here's our layer. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Now I can tell you that my shaving cream is a little soupy because it's almost gone. If this was full, it would be much fluffier. Um, because I noticed it's kind of saturated. So make sure you have enough shaving cream in your can. That's a that's a way to do it. When I ordered, when I ordered, uh, I can't see. Somebody just said something about ordering. We're going to do one more here. I'm just going to grab some fresh shaving cream with the swirls in it. And we're going to do this again. Every single one is going to be different. Now, if this is a paper plate, I just throw it away, right? When you're done. But I will wash this out with water and it'll be ready to roll. This is all clean and done. I am not a big mess. This is so, so fun. And I just love that beautiful swirling. Let me set this over here. We're gonna let that dry while we make the rest of our card. So I am going to be using Memento ink and I love this little guy holding a heart. I don't know why my iPad keeps, you guys, my um, comments are going away on my iPad unless I touch the screen. I don't know why. So, oh, Lori says, oh, wow, how cool. I know. I don't know who thought, hey, let's take some shaving cream and put some ink refills in it and see if we can put that on paper to do something. Who thinks of this stuff, right? Crazy, crazy. Um, Anna wants to know where to find that paper. It is called Pattern Party. The item code is 155426, but it's on page 171 in our big annual catalog. Thank you for asking, Anna. Mary likes the pretty colors in the shaving cream. Oops, me too. Let's get my hair out of there. Wait, I, I don't have it out yet. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to just stamp this little guy. Yay! And then, did you guys see? Oh, here's a red marker. I'm going to take my red marker. 
Oh, Debbie said she finally got on. It's been frozen the whole time. I'm so sorry, Debbie. I hate it when that happens. You'll have to go back and watch the beginning when I'm done. You can always go back and watch anything you missed. And then you can fast forward and pause and do all that good stuff. Now, I could color in this entire um, uh, robot. I could color him all in. But I choose to keep this simple. So we're going to take the um, heart punch and I've got it in here just like this we're gonna punch that guy out and then we're gonna take some Highland Heather and we're gonna use the scallop punch the more I see the nuts and bolts set the more I want it Lori says I know it's stinking adorable I almost like didn't order it but I'm like oh it's so cute isn't it it's just so cute here let me put these back over here okay we're gonna layer these together and I just love the size here because that is just a cute cute way to turn it any color you want right and then we have a five and a half by eight and a half um, basic white thick cardstock and I've already scored that at four and a half inches. So we're just gonna burnish that edge good. And then we're gonna do the stamping on the inside before we do anything else. And I need to find, hang on, I gotta find my stays on ink pad, which is here someplace. Where did I put it? Oh, it's under my desk, in my other bin. Okay, so I'm going to use stays on, and the reason why I'm going to use stays on is because this cardstock, this is the thick basic white, is rather porous, and stays on ink just works better. I don't know why, but it does. So you make my heart go beep, yay! And then I'm going to grab my Highland Heather. Oh, we're going to do another little robot guy. We're going to do this little robot guy with the stays on ink. And I'm going to put him right here. Yay! Isn't that cute? And let's get this put away. You want to close this up, okay? And you'll notice that this comes with a little plastic lid over this part, a see-through lid. I put dimensionals in between that and this lid so that that just stays right in there. You wanna keep this sealed up really good because this is a super fast drying ink um, and you need to close it. You can't leave it sit out on your desk for half a day like you can with our other ink pads. And now I've got these cute little hearts that are part of this set and I think I'm just gonna put them around here. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? And, oh, I know, as long as we're here, I want to decorate my envelope a little bit and I'm going to, I'm going to use just the purple ink with this particular little robot. So I'm using all the robot images. How cute is he, right? Super, super cute. And our envelope is ready. Here comes our shaving cream. Now I'm going to Add glue all around the outside. You can see that when you put shaving cream on it, it kind of makes it curl a little bit. So you want to make sure that whatever type of adhesive you're using, you get it around the outside edge for sure, okay? I usually don't get real close to the edge, but because it's curling, you want to make sure you do. And you guys saw how easy that was. People said they were shocked at how quickly and easily and mess-free I do my shaving cream. But yeah, it's just that simple. And how fun would it be to sit down with some kids and let them play with shaving cream and make some cards, right? Okay, next we have um, a piece. This is a one inch by five and a half inch piece of basic black. And I ran it through the dotty, um, Oh, what is this called? Checks and dots, I think. Hang on. Let me look. Do I have cheat notes? I do not. <laughs> I thought I had my cheat notes. You guys think I know all this stuff off the top of my head. And a lot of it I do, but sometimes I write notes. And then it just makes me look like I'm brilliant. <laughs> um, this, here it is. Dotty Hearts. 
So there's two different folders in there. There's a daddy heart one here and another one here. And these are our little embossing folders. So you get two in a pack and they look like this. This is one of them. So I just took this and I ran it through so I could get that line of hearts on my black strip here. And I am going to add my shaving cream layer like this just want to oops let me see if I can center I just want to center this then I'm going to bring in my one inch strip this is just a classic card layout it's an easy layout you can do so many different things with it see if I can get this straight put that on here like this I see I got a little overlap here Tanya says she totally missed those folders Okay, uh, Angela, you said it wouldn't allow me to add celebration items. My order is over $100. I wonder if those items aren't available. All the items are available. So something, um, I think that you, you may not be looking in the right place. And I was considering today doing a video showing exactly what you have to do to put in an order. But when you go to the last screen, when you click on checkout, at the top of the screen, it pops up and says celebration items are available, and then it takes you to that screen. At least that was my experience when I was out in the customer side of our website. So maybe tomorrow I will do a video on placing an order, but if you had an order over $100 and you did not get your celebration items, I want you to call Stampin' Up! tomorrow and explain the problem because you need to get those items, and they are fantastic. They will take care of you. And if they don't, call me. Because <laughs> sometimes I have a little pull. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes I do. Okay, I'm going to grab my black dots. That's what I've used all the way through here. Uh, you can put on any kind of embellishment that you want. But since I've got that strip of black on there, I thought that these would be my best choice. I really like these. And I am going to, oh, I got some other cards that I made today. I forgot to put the black dots on them for Pete's sakes. We'll get that done because I have Valentine's to send out. I am loaded up. I am loaded up for Valentine's Day. I'm getting there anyways. Okay, so here's our cutie patootie little card with that very fun shaving cream technique. And then I wanted to show you this. This is the instruction sheet, and this was just one color of um, ink refill in the shaving cream. But this is the instruction sheet. My people who are part of my online technique club, they get a card and an instruction sheet like this with a sample of the technique on it each month. And what they have to do is they have to place a $25 minimum order before tax and shipping. They have to use the host code with their order. Okay, unless it's over $150, then I let you have that. Um, but you, you put in your order each month for six consecutive months. You will get this in the mail. I just put these, I put these right in the mail, just like this. Send them out to you. And um, at the end of six consecutive months, you get a $30 product credit from me to order anything you want. So pretty cool, right? Now, I told you I had some other colors to share with you. Here is a real red. Isn't that cute? And this was, um, I think, So Saffron and Real Red. Those are the colors that I used. And then I've got this one is Coastal Cabana. And I got my little guy there, right? Oh, and this one I did red for my little robot. So there's another one. I thought I had one more. Oh, here's one. This is definitely boy material. This is Pacific Point with Granny Apple Green. That's the colors that I used in that particular shaving cream. So, and this is the one that I noticed I forgot 
my embellishments on. So let me get those on there. We don't want naked cards going out of Kelly's house. That's just not allowed. Okay, now I got the embellishments on all of them. So this is what my um, December Technique Club members received. They went out in the mail earlier this week. Your cards go out after the end of the current month. So if you want to join the Technique Club, you just tell me. Um, pop me an email and I will send you the details. And you can tell me, yes, I want to be part of it. And then I'll add you to that group. Then um, you place your order anytime between the 1st and the 25th. After the first of the next month is when I create all of these. I make a video on some platform, whether it's here on Facebook Live or for a blog post. And um, it says there's a video in January of 2022 on my website. So you get a video to go with the instruction card. And I mail these out after the first of the next month. So that's what happens with these. And it's a lot of fun. I have a lot of people in these technique clubs and um, they thoroughly enjoy them. Now, I wanted to show you guys. These are some older techniques that I have in here, but after you've been in it a while, you're gonna collect a whole bunch of these. Look at this was a spinner card. Yeah. <laughs> here is a basket weave folding technique. Here we colored ribbon. Here we did some double time stamping. Here's um, That was when we had brush oak crystals, wrinkle-free distress, glitter splatter, faux frame. Here's a faux silk technique. So you end up with a whole bunch of these cards. I keep mine in an old wood case. But when you go to sit down to stamp, then you will have a arsenal of ideas at your fingertips to help inspire you and to, you know, use techniques. I love techniques. So there we have it. That is our first card tonight. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Whoops, I almost put those away. Then I would be going, here's my dimensionals. All right, I don't know why. I, my iPad's just giving me a hard time here. Thank you guys so much. Mm. Ginny. Ginny says she loves the club. Yes, Ginny is one of my clubs. Now, I get people asking me. Um, they are a demonstrator, not on my team, on somebody else's team. Can they join that club? Absolutely. I do not discriminate. Demonst I love demonstrators. <laughs> but, yes, you can definitely join my stamp technique club. And how does that work? Well, you just like everybody else, you have to put a minimum $25 order in through me in my store and then you get all the benefits. So that's how that works. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Oh, I need this, I still need this. Huh. We're gonna do another cutie patootie, guess what? I have a sweet little box. So if you have not seen these yet, I am going to share them with you. They come 10 to a box. Um, I can't remember how much they are. They're not very, I don't think they're very expensive. Let me look here. Um, you get 10 for $10. So they're a dollar a piece, which is a pretty darn good deal. All you do is fold on all your score lines. Easy peasy. And then they have these adhesive backings that you peel off. I just peeled both of mine off at once. I haven't run into any problems doing that. Pull your tabs in. Pull the sides up. And then you're going to come in and make sure that you have this squared up and you're going to press that down. And you're going to do the same thing over here. Square it up. Press it down just like that. Yay! Oh, I, I see I didn't get this one pressed in there all the way. Let's see what's going to happen to Kelly. Let's see if I can pull this off. Oh, it's coming, you guys. This is really super strong adhesive. So just know you usually don't get a second chance at this. <sighs> I am a professional. You might not want to try this at home. <laughs> Who said that? Deb said the end result is the shaving cream technique reminds me of the marvelous paper. It reminded me of that too, Deb. <clears throat> I noticed that same thing. Okay, there, now I've got it squared up better. Okay, now. 
in my sweet talk class where I made all of these boxes, I give you all of the goodies for this for several different patterns. But here's what we're going to do. We are going to take some of the, this is again, still the Sweet Talk Designer Series paper. We're gonna take a couple pieces of these. These are both two and three eighths by three and three eighths. And then I cut some half inch strips of this paper. I love these purple stripes. And what we're gonna do is we are going to grab our Memento ink. We are going to stamp our little heart holding robot guy. And we're going to color our heart in. Oh, I hear a train going through. I usually don't hear trains at our house. That's weird. And still looking at comments here, you guys. They're not working good. I'm going to stop complaining about it. Then <clears throat> you're going to cut this little guy out. And he really is fairly easy to cut out. I just kind of went like this and... Cut the little dude out. Just go around the outside of his little antennae deals, and then we'll have that. <laughs> it's just like magic, right? Okay, so we're gonna decorate up this little box. I'm gonna close this all the way so we can get everything decorated. And we're gonna put this paper now, this has an upside down, a right side up, an upside down, because it's got words on it. A lot of them I can't read because they're in different languages, but it does say love. So look for your love and uh, make sure it's right side up. Let me get this on here centered. There we go. Okay. Here we go. A cute little box. Oh, I didn't do a very good job centering that, did I? Dang it. Kelly. Well, I'm going to leave it. It'll be okay. Okay, <clears throat> half-inch strips. This is the easiest way I've found to do this, is just add a little glue to your side and then just center this on your sides. Super, super easy. Where'd my scissors go? Oh, here they are. And here we go again, just like this. I'm getting hungry. I think I asked you guys what you had for supper. I ate earlier and Steve made taco meat the other night. So I actually made, I heated up the meat and he made some like nacho cheese. Well, he didn't make it, it comes out of a can. Let's not give him, he's not a cheese maker. He's a lot of things, but a cheese maker, he is not. <laughs> so, um, hi, Michelle, glad you're here. Um, the nacho cheese, the liquidy stuff, like you would get nachos at a sporting event or something. So he had some of that, and then he knows I love red and yellow peppers, so he bought some of those. I like to eat those on my tacos, which may be a little weird, but everybody knows I'm a little weird anyways. And um, <clears throat> I heated all that up and then cut up some of those peppers and had nachos. I love the lime flavored tortilla chips. So that's what I had for supper. And oh my gosh, it was just like the, a guilty pleasure. It was fantastic. Now, you want to make sure that your box, the part that opens so that you have it right set up, right? We make sure that our words are right. So what I thought I'd do is bring in some of this glitter ribbon. I just think this is cool. And we've got black stamped for our little robot guy. So I thought, well, that's, that'd be okay, right? To bring in some black ribbon. And we've got black on our card that matches this. Whoops. Yeah. It's funny today. I asked Molly if she wanted to make some Valentine cards today. And she said no. She wanted to go play with the dolls. It was cute. Okay, so here's that. I'm gonna put this little guy on a couple dimensionals. Let's get my, where's my baby dimensionals? Mm, does anybody see my basket? Oh, here it is, the basket. 
So yeah, she wanted to play with the baby doll stuff in the play kitchen, and that was fine. But I thought, well, you could make some Valentines, like, for your family and friends. Just something to do, fun and creative, right? Nope, she wasn't interested. <sighs> Patricia had hot dogs and rice. Provolone cheese, Colby cheese, beef summer sausage, and wheat thins for supper. Dolly, did you make your cheese? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, ready? Comes my little guy. Where's my card to match? Where's my purple one? I made this to match the, oh. Ah, how cute is he? What do you guys think? Isn't that just adorable? I love this whole set. Like, and now I have this cute little gift set, right? I'm gonna put um, probably conversation hearts in here and maybe a little gift card to Dairy Queen. Like all my, all my kiddos in my life really like Dairy Queen or we have Tom's Drive-In here in Menasha and they love to go there. Yeah, so great idea. Thank you, Lori. Thank you guys so much. Yay. Oh, Linda, that's a fantastic idea to make the robots into wobblers. I should have done that. Dang it, I have wobblers too. That's a great idea. You know, the little wobble things. That would be fantastic. Okay, let me get this put away. See what else I have for you here tonight. Don't forget about these. These are sweet little boxes, they're called. $10 for 10 of them. All right. Oh, you know what? Oh, I, did I? Here, let me look at this. No, I was going to color this. I've got my Highland Heather marker out here. So let's do a little coloring on this robot. I completely forgot about that. I'm so sorry. So I use Stays On ink, which is the kind of ink that you want to use when you color with our stamp and write markers. And I used it because, like I said, this is kind of porous paper, the thick basic white. So the Stays On just stamps better. Ha! Huh, there we go. Super duper cute, right? Yay! Okay. Let me set that aside. Oh, let's get rid of this too. What's next? What is next? Um, I think, I think I'm gonna let you guys pick. So, do you want ladybugs? We have the Hello Ladybug. We also have the Rainbow of Happiness. I'm going to let you guys pick what you want me to make next. I will save one of these for a blog hop then that I have later this week. And I will make one of them right now. So is it Ladybugs or Rainbow of Happiness? What is your pleasure? I'm going to give you guys just a minute to start popping in there. I'm going to take a drink. I'm seeing ladybugs. Lots of ladybugs, ladybugs. Ladybugs are Wendy's favorite. Wendy, you know, that got me the cooling mist that was in the hospital and is better and home now. That's her favorite. So... Oh, we're getting some rainbow. We're getting some rainbow. I think, though, that ladybug is winning. I love the rainbow. Don't worry, Bonnie and Denise and Karen and other Karen <laughs> and Lisa and Andrea. I will be sharing this. I have two blog hops this week, one on Thursday, one on Friday. So this will be coming out soon, okay? I'm going to save that for my blog hop. Here goes, we got ladybugs. These are so stinking cute. I'm gonna get this big grid paper out of here. And where did my, here it is. Got a piercing mat here. Just takes up a little bit less space when I'm trying to film. That's the only reason that I like to use this. We have Hello Ladybug and the Ladybug Builder Punch. Uh, let's see. I've got Real Red Ink and Stays On Ink. Okay. 
And we are going to be using the stitched greenery die because doesn't that go good with ladybugs, right? Ah. Uh, Nancy says you need to use the foam kind, not the gel. Yeah, on the, on the shaving cream, no gel. You have to get the foamy stuff. And the stuff that I get is literally the cheapest. It's very cheap. Anything that's foamy, you don't have to get anything expensive, but anything foamy will work just fine. And your cards smell good when you're done. So I like the soothing aloe for my elephant legs. You know, they're like elephant skin legs in the winter. Yeah. Is that more than you needed to know? Okay. <laughs> Stitched greenery dye. We're going to use that. And then we are going to use the messages dye because this is really cool. Wait till you see this. And here comes our, hang on, let me get my all my goodies out here. Got that. I have one, this and this and this. Have that. I've got an envelope, our inside layer, our card base. Whew. Okay. We're ready. We're ready to start doing some things. Let me get this out of the way. First thing we're gonna do, you guys, is we are going to burnish our score line. So this is 11 by four and a quarter. I scored it at five and a half real red card base. Then I've got basic white that's four by five and a quarter. And then we're gonna be using the Sweet Talk Designer Series paper again. Lots of good uses for this, you guys. Super, super cute patterns. This is three quarters by four. I've also got a two and a half by six inch piece of this paper for my envelope because I love a decorated envelope. I just feel like you finish off your whole project when you have all the things, all the coordinating things. So... Put some glue on your envelope flap. I just had somebody ask me this about ask me about this the other day. She's one of my local customers, and she says, "I noticed that in your pictures, a lot of your um, envelopes are decorated. How do you do that?" And so I told her how I did it, and I thought that's funny because she is never watching my videos. <laughs> I wish she was here on Sunday nights because I do this all the time. But it's funny, the things that you learn through questions, right? So good to know. Okay, how fun is that? Like, that's just going to be fun. We're going to set that aside. Now, what I have here is you're going to use this stitched greenery. Oh, thank you guys for sharing my video. I really appreciate it. Make sure if you're coming in later, you want to give me a thumbs up too. So click on that like button. That's really helpful. All right, so we're going to take a four by five and a quarter inch piece and we're going to run it through on the stitched greenery die. This thing is fantastic because this is what it does. It is so, so cool, right? I love this thing. Okay, so we've got that. And we can add that right to our card front. Oh, thank you guys. I see everybody coming in and saying they shared. Thank you so much. That'll get you entered in a drawing, too, to win fabulous prizes. Because you know I love to give away fabulous prizes. Okay. I have another um, color of this card to share with you, too, when we're done. Now, I took the designer paper. This is cut two by four. And I just added this right to the front of my card. This is a really quick and easy card to make. Super, another really classic layout, easy card. We're going to take, uh-oh, where's my red ribbon? Oh, I bet it's in with my, oh. okay, hang on. Houston, we've lost the ribbon. Let's see. Oh, I know where it is. Right here. I put it over with my sweet top stuff. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. We're going to take this. And I'm just going to tie this in a knot right over here. This is our new faux 
linen ribbon. It's real red and I really like it because it's nice and thin and when you tie it, it doesn't make a whole bunch of bulk. So your post office is gonna lose their mind <laughs> with the knot that's bulky, you know. I love my, don't get me wrong, I love my male people. My son-in-law is a mailman, so I am not dissing them in any way, shape, or form. But you know how they do lose their mind. <laughs> Okay, that's me. Um, if you can't laugh about stuff, well, stay home. Here comes a scrap of white. Isn't that already just really pretty? You could do this with any coordinating ribbon and designer series paper. And again, hang on, I'm reading my screen here. <laughs> Mickey says, how come yours are so cute? I do it, it looks crappy. Um, are you talking about my knot? Mickey, because if that's the case, let me give you a little tip there. So when you tie, first of all, get your ribbon off the spool so you can work with it. You don't have this like all over in your way. I always leave it attached to the roll so I'm not wasting ribbon, right? But what I do to tie a nice knot is I go like this and now I make it a T, okay? So now I've got her a plus symbol. So instead of like this, I'm like this. Then I press that down and notice that nothing's all curled and goofy. I've, I've kept everything nice and flat here. I hold with this finger and I come around just like that. Grab that, you have to keep this tight. Now I've slipped this finger in there. There you go, boom. And remember, I am a professional. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes my knots don't look that great either. But <laughs> if you send a card to somebody and they tell you that your knots are not good, you don't ever send them a card again. Do you hear me? You do not need that kind of negativity in your life. <laughs> okay, back, back to our card. Thank you for asking. That was a really good question. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take our cutie patootie little stamp set here. I am using Stazon ink because I want my black parts to be super duper black. Oh, we'll use that later. We're going to use red right now. Sorry. <laughs> and we are going, oh, do ladybugs have, they do have black dots, don't they? Huh. I kind of forgot about that. All right, here comes our wings. This is real red. I'm gonna take a look at my punch and see which way does my punch go in here. And it goes in like this for the wings, so I am going to then stamp my wings like that. Oh, that looks great. We're going to slide this into our cute little ladybug builder punch. Get that centered nicely. That looks good. Look at, here's our cute, cute little wings. Now. Can you see putting these all around and making a flower? Can you see using these for leaves? There's all kinds of stuff you can do with this that are so, so funny. Oops, hang on. Oh, Sandy says you have patience and experience. I do have pretty good patience, don't I? <clears throat> okay, now, I kind of didn't think about the dots being black, so I didn't do anything with that. Let me get... Let me get out another block because my card has white polka dots on it. Um, my other ladybug that I made earlier today must be anemic. She does not have black dots. All right, let's see if I can do this. Here we go. Ah. Oh my gosh, right? Super duper cute. Okay. <clears throat> we are going to take this, we're going to take a scrap of black, and you're going to punch out the ladybug body. Boom. And all you do is add your wings to your ladybug body, and you put that little half circle right up, right up in the neck of the ladybug. <laughs> Ladybugs have necks, right? There we go. How cute is that? I'm gonna put this on some dimensionals. And this is where you should bring out your black dimensionals because you're using black 
ladybug. Oh, I know, I forgot to do something. When Kathy Miller stopped over the other day, she said she took her bone folder and she curled these little wings a little bit. So look at, look at how cute that is, right? I'm gonna do that too. See, I pay attention. When stampers talk to me, I listen. <laughs> okay. Uh, off with the backs here. This and this. Oops, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna do this little guy right here like this. Ah, isn't he cute? Now, we need some type of a label, right? So, what I decided to do is I decided to use this messages die. That's what it's called, messages die. You get all these labels in here. And I want, let's see, for this one, I want this little label right here. So I'm going to take a scrap of white. I'm gonna put it on here and run it through my die cutting machine so that I get this one. And when I do that, it looks like this. And then I wanted to show you what I do with the rest of them. So I cut out like a whole sheet. I did red and I did white. And then here's all the label. You get all these labels. And of course you can use the stamp set that comes with this, you know, in a bundle and you can stamp it first and then die cut it. But I thought this is neat just to have all these labels. And when I need a little label, I can just come grab one and use it like this one. So then I'm just gonna keep all of these together and keep them in my in with my die sleeve so that next time I maybe won't need a die cut, I can just grab out of here. So that's what I chose to do. And by the way, these are our cello envelopes. Um, Cheryl says, Barb stamped the black dots, fights win the wings. I don't know what that means. Oh, first, then the wings. Oh, that's a good idea. Thanks for that tip, Cheryl. Yeah, that Barb, she's a smart cookie, isn't she? So I keep this in here. There we go. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take this. Now, I've got a new stamp set. Where did it go? Oh, my gosh, you guys. Oh, happy and heartfelt. Oh, I love this one. I just love these fonts. Like, they just make me so, so happy. And um, I love the sayings. Yay for love. I have you. Hello, baby. Being awesome is just your thing, no matter what. All day your way. I love you. Thank you. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Steph says that. My stepdaughter. Heck yeah. We have to celebrate this. And happy mom day. Happy dad day. Congratulations. We're going to use, of course, I love you. So I am going to take my black ink. I am going to stamp I love you on this little label. Oh, one more thing. Oh, I wonder if that's still here. Oh, it's probably gone. Um, 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 um. Oh, I bet you it's in with my other one. On this die, where'd that die go? Do you guys see my die? Oh, here it is. On this die, there's some little stars. There's a little star and a little star and a little star, and there's a little heart right here. We're gonna use that little heart on the matching box for this. Did I tell you there was gonna be a matching box? There is. I know, I'm pretty excited about it. So let me put this away. I hope I don't lose the little heart either because it's tinier than any of the other hearts that we have and that's why I wanted it. So I am going to take this. I am going to grab my real red marker and I'm just going to color in this little tiny heart on the I love you. Look how just, isn't that just precious? That's just so stinking cute. And I am going to, doo -doo -doo. where's my dimensionals? You know, this is a disability I have. <laughs> Juanita says she just ordered the happy and heartfelt stamps. Oh my gosh. I did too, because one of my people won it in a drawing from my ordering special last month, which reminds me, I have an ordering special right now, that new ephemera kit. If you order $75 from me, 
um, I think it's all month long, you will get that ephemera kit for free. It's in the mini catalog. <gasps> Look at that. Look at how cute it is. Isn't it cute? Okay, now hang on one more thing. Where's my favorite little embellishments? Right here. We are going to bring these embellishments in because I love these. Look at how pretty they are. If you don't have any of these, you need to. Um, my Sweet Talk... My Sweet Talk kit has these in it, and they are just precious. Okay, so I'm going to put a little one there, and how about a really little one? I'll put another one maybe right here. And then I want a big one. There's three sizes. I want a big one to go right there. Isn't that cute? Look at how cute it is. Now, we've got our inside yet. And I thought I would leave this blank so that I can write a fair amount in it, but that's what this little strip here is for. This three quarters wide by four is gonna go right on here. Oh, I'm not gonna leave it blank. I wanna do the other ladybug. I forgot. I lied. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. Okay, cool, right? Now, I am going to stamp this little cutie patootie ladybug. Oh, I do have Happy Valentine's Day. I'm just lying all the way across the board. Um, I'm going to go with the black ink because that's what I used on my sentiment on the front. So I'm going to just carry that on. This is from the Sweet Talk set. Happy Valentine's Day. And then I'm going to stamp this little ladybug. Oh, do I want to, I want to do her right up here. Oh, look how cute she is. Now, if your ink, my ink dried already, but if your ink isn't dark enough, you can always color that in with the black marker, so don't panic. Here comes. This is two-step stamping. We have two-step stamping with this little ladybug. Isn't she cute? Oh my gosh, so adorable. This is going to be the inside of our card. Get this out. Get your stays on closed up. You can't leave that out like that. Get this out of the way before I throw my card in it. Who's done that? Anybody? Has anybody ever like dumped their card into their opening pad? No. Okay. Do this and this and this and this. Here is just the sweetest little Valentine. I think I might send this one to my mom or maybe I'll give it to Molly. That would be fun. Molly's really um, started getting into jewelry now because she's like 10 and everything. So <laughs> I might get her a little pair of earrings. And what would I need if I was getting her a little pair of earrings? I might need a little gift box. So who wants to see a little gift box that matches this card? Ah, you guys picked the wrong, the right thing for me to make here because this is super, super cute. So... We are going to make a little box and we're going to put a little treat in it. And I guarantee you are going to love this. Um, who knows what I did with that red ribbon? Does anybody? Oh, here it is. We need the red ribbon again. Okay, so here's our cute, cute, cutie patootie. I know, right? Juanita says, oh, cute card. Um, there is a special cleaner for stays on. I do not, however, recommend that you use that on photopolymer stamps, which are your clear stamps. Um, you can just use your Stampin' Mist and your Stampin' Scrub. Where is my... I'm looking for my... My chamois right now, which is supposed to be right there. And I cannot locate it. But I was going to clean those stamps off for you, and I don't know what I did with it always there. It's always right, right there. I don't know. Anyways, I just clean it in my chamois. Now, like red stains your stamps. If your stamps are stained black, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because like, as long as they're clean, they'll still work just fine. That's the way I look at it. And <clears throat> a stained stamp is a used stamp, and that makes me very happy. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to grab 
I'm going to grab a scrap of white. I'm going to bring this back in here. And I am going to... Oh, you said Barb does the dots first and then does the wings. Okay, so we're going to try that. Can do that, right? Oops. Is this the... I hope this is the right way. We'll see. Okay, so there's that. Here comes our little wings. Oh, I just stuck my finger in it. I felt it. I felt it. It's like an omen with me in red ink. I always get my fingers in it every single time. Okay, let's see if this is the right way. Oh, it is. Oh, I really kind of jacked that up. <laughs> so let's do it again. <laughs> ah, Julie said she got the ladybug set and she is going to play with it tomorrow. You're going to love it, Julie. It is... Hang on, let's try that again. I'm gonna get a new scrap. How about a little scrap? Oh, I don't have any little scraps. Okay. I gotta get this stamped right. There we go, okay. I wasn't pushing. You gotta push good. And going to do this. Oh, that turned out pretty. Oh, look, I jacked it up again. Are you guys being really patient with me tonight? Because I don't want to put a jacked up ladybug on my cute little box. So we're going to just persevere. And you can realize that I am so human. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, I did it the wrong way. Good Lord. Here we go. <laughs> Back to our regularly scheduled program right now. Okay, there it is. Then we need a little bit of black. We still got this black from our other ladybug. So we're gonna do our black ladybug. There we go. We can put these two together. And I don't think the ladybug looks bad with white dots. So I'll let you guys judge. You can judge me. And then out of that same packet of labels, oh, I thought I had a label here. I did. Who knows? what happened to it oh it's still right here yay okay so here's that teeny weeny little heart from that messages die okay it's really really tiny and here's a cute little banner label isn't that cute i love this i'm going to take that and i'm going to put oops the i love you on there let's use a black ink And then we're going to glue this little heart on there. A teeny weeny little bit of glue. Cute. And then we'll put it on some dimensionals. Yeah, Jean says she's seen the ladybug stamped in lots of different colors. I have two, Jean, and it is stinking cute every single time, isn't it? Ooh, I shouldn't have pulled those off, but we'll just set that right over there. We're going to put some dimensionals on this puppy. Let's see, I got black. When you order the black dimensionals, you get minis and regular size in one pack. So that's really nice. Okay, so I'm going to set that over there. And now we're going to make this cute little box. And this is like the easiest little box. And I'm even going to show you what I'm going to put in the box, which is super cute too. So let me get a baby wipe because as you can see, my complete war with red ink is not dead. It just keeps going on and going. Yes, red ink. Lots of fun. Hi, Amy Deschler. Happy to see you here. Okay. I gotta get my paper trimmer so I can do 
a little bit of scoring. We've got basic black here. This is five and an eighth by six inches. And I'm gonna put it in here to see which one is five and an eighth. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm like, oh, silly Kelly. Doesn't matter. Five and an eighth by six inches. You're gonna score it at one and a half on all sides. So it doesn't make any difference which way you put it first because you're gonna do the same thing on every single side. So I was going to tell you guys, I told Steve said that he was coming to bed tonight. So I, um, we have two twin beds downstairs in uh, a room set up for Molly and Val, right? So one and a half inches on all four sides. This piece is three and an eighth by nine and a half. So last night, Steve slept downstairs in, in Valerie's bed which she hasn't slept in yet, but there's two twin beds in there. He slept downstairs in Valerie's bed and didn't come upstairs to bed. So I had to go, go to sleep in a cold bed and I was not happy about it. So tonight he tells me, I'll be sleeping in our bed tonight. And I said, yeah, you will. <laughs> and then we laughed and laughed. Okay, one inch, we're gonna score it one inch. I'm like, who do you think you are? Like, you're supposed to warm this bed up for me. I'm a little demanding like that. Three and three quarters. So we got one, three and three quarters, five and a quarter, and eight. Now, you guys know that I put all of these dimensions on my blog right here. When I get this done and uploaded to YouTube, it takes me a good hour. So when I'm done doing a video, the work is not over at all. <laughs> There's a lot that has to be done afterwards. So um, it takes about an hour or two, but I do put all of these pictures, dimensions, even a shopping list. In case you like forgot, oh, what color ink did she use? You'll find it in the shopping list with all the dimensions. Okay, we're going to fold on our score lines and we're going to burnish because I'm a big burnisher. All those score lines. There we go. And then we are going to put this together just like this. This is going to be the outside of our box. So we need to put tear and tape. I recommend tear and tape anytime you're making boxes. You need something super strong so your boxes do not fall apart. You don't want to be one of those people. <laughs> right? I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here just because I can and you don't need to like overkill. But I like my tear and tape to be near my fold line. And then you just leave this lay flat and you're going to close your box. Look at that. Ah! Did you see how easy that was? Super duper duper easy. Oops, here we go. Uh-oh, Kelly, do you snore? No, I, do, I, I don't. As a rule, I do not snore. He told me the other night I was, but I was kind of sick. But I do not snore, so I'm not keeping him awake. He's been complaining about our bed. Um, he's, he just says it's not that comfortable to him. And I just think he's, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to be mean or anything, but it's like, just come on, Steve. Our bed is fine. I don't know what he's getting at, but anyways, he, he doesn't, um, he doesn't, he's not a sound sleeper. So he gets up at like three o'clock in the morning. I haven't even gone to bed yet and he'll get up and he'll be up for several hours. And then he takes a nap during the day. You know, it's, it's real weird. His time is weird. Okay. So I cut there and I cut there. And so we're going to, again, fold and burnish. This is like the easiest little box I love this box. That I've made it before. Um, it's been a long time, but I love making matching things. Okay, so you're going to pull in your tabs. And again, we're going to put this up like this. So we want our tear and tape to be close to our seams. So fold in. Let's just tear a bunch off here. We're gonna fold in and put it close to the seam. And here, just like this. And I'm 
one's just like this. There we go. Now I'll peel this off. And sorry, I know I keep putting my arm in the way, but I can't see your comments because for some reason my, um, I'm not going to whine about it anymore. Okay. <laughs> you know why my arm's going over there. I'm just going to use glue on this side. And now you're going to bring this up and square that corner up good. Pop that in there. Same thing here. Square it up nice. Put it together. Oh, I should have taken these off. Oops. And this one. There we go. And put a little glue here and a little glue there. Okay, nothing neat, no big deal. I'm gonna square that corner up and then square this corner up. Look at that, is that not really cool? All right, now this is snug. So just know that, because I was like, oh, this is kind of snug. Oops. Hang on. Go ahead and get it together. Goes just like that. Okay, so before you do that, we're gonna grab a hole puncher, which, oh, here it is. I just have an old hole puncher. We don't sell hole punchers anymore. But I'm just going to take this and I'm going to punch a hole. So I'm going to punch a hole right in the middle there. Oh, that's pretty good, <laughs> actually. And then I am going to take a length of ribbon. I don't know how you guys do this, but this was the easiest way for me to do it. I'm gonna tie this. Maybe you should do this. Don't cut it first, because it's kind of tricky to figure out how much ribbon. Well, I could measure it for you. Hang on, let me do that. Why wouldn't I do that? And measure everything else for you guys. Why wouldn't I do that? Eight inches. I would probably do nine inches. So do nine inches. And then you're gonna um, fold it together and you're going to tie it in a knot like this. And I hope that I can get both of those through there. And you can't leave, you can't like cut it too close because otherwise it's, it's really hard to handle. But you know what I mean. You guys can handle this, right? Okay, so we got that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of make that into a point. See that? Did you guys notice that my fingernails match my shirt? Yeah. I planned that tonight. <laughs> um, we're gonna go from the inside. I'm gonna just pop that through there. Oh, I can't get a hold of it. I didn't have any trouble doing this the first one I made. There we go. I just didn't have it through there now. Okay, see what I did there? This is gonna be our little pull thinger, majigger. Oh, Linda made this foaming hand soap boxes. Linda, I think those are so cool, aren't they? I am holding one of mine to give, like if we go visit somebody for like a stay overnight or something, I'm gonna do it as a host gift. Okay, here's our little box. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take designer series paper. Oh. Oh, I guess I only, oh, I know. I was gonna ask you guys which one I should put on here. Um, I think I'm gonna do, well, if I do this one, here's our ladybug and our ladybug shows up better. If I do this one, if this pattern, if I do this pattern, oh, our ladybug shows up fine, doesn't she? I'm gonna do this one because I did the other, I did a box already with that one. I'll show it to you. So I'm going to put my orientation of my designer paper this way. And this designer paper, by the way, is two and a half by three. And again, look at, we've got this and we've got this. Super cute, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're welcome. And I can't wait to show you what I put in it because it's pretty cute too. So I'm gonna take, put your label on first. 
because you want to make sure you've got plenty of room for that. And then we're going to put this little ladybug in here. And then we, of course, have to put some of these deals on there. These are the iridescent rhinestone basic jewels with my hair all over in them. Hang on. Oh, it's actually stuck in there, too. Jeez. Louise. Do you see the hair? Good grief. Make me crazy. Okay. <laughs> We're going to just do a few of these. And I'm just going to pop a couple of these on. They're going to kind of blend in because this paper's a little busier. But you can see them in the light. They like... Mm, they're so pretty, right? Look at that. Oh, the glimmer. Okay. Where's my goodies? Are you ready for this? Oh, Valentine ding dongs. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I've not eaten any of these. I opened this to make this box. That's it. These, I got these at our family dollar store the other night. I kind of went on a little treat rampage. I got, you know, the conversation hearts, which I absolutely love, and I've eaten most of them. <laughs> um, I also got these little Ghirardelli sea salt caramel duet hearts. Oh, can't wait to eat these, but I'm going to decorate them first for stamping, right? So um, I'm probably not going to eat them. I'll probably give them to a friend, but I might eat them. Here we go. Here goes our little ding dong. It fits right in here. Oh, that's really puffy. There we go. Fits right in there. Let's see if I can get it back together. Oh, get in there. See how that little ribbon is really helpful? There we go. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh. Am I killing it tonight? Oh, I love this. Okay, so I showed you I told you I was going to show you. I used this on the other sample that I made. Here is the other little box. And notice that the wings are not, don't have black dots on them because I just didn't realize. But again, I've got the same thing in the inside of this little box. Is one of those little Valentine ding-dongs. Here's my card without the black dots. But I use this paper on here, and this one goes like this, and this one goes like this. So, super duper duper, right? Okay, if anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I love your questions. I love helping everybody out. If you would like to join my technique club, that is a lot of fun. You can just pop me an email. Okay, my email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, so kelly at astampabove.com. This is my current host code. If you would like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps me in business and keeps all these free classes coming your way. And then I have mail to show you. Who wants to see my mail? I've got the most spectacular card, like, ever. I've gotten some pretty spectacular cards, but this one is right at the top. I'm going to show it to you right away first. Are you ready? <sighs> Marilyn Dakins, you amaze me. Like, look at this beauty. Are you ready? This is our gorgeous, gorgeous whimsy paper. We've got have a very, are you guys ready? Be ready because you're going to gasp. <gasps> Holy cow. <gasps> Mary. Christmas. Look at that. Ready? I'll open it again. Ready? <laughs> I literally, I literally gasped when I opened this. I was like, oh my gosh. And then I took it. Steve, look at this. He's like, oh my gosh. Holy cannoli, right? Oh. I just can't stop playing with it. Do you guys want to learn how to make something like this? <laughs> I think we definitely should. This is crazy. Um, Marilyn says, look forward to your Sunday night show, John updates and stories of your family activities. Sometimes I get tears running down my legs. <laughs> I love that, Marilyn. Um, also, happy new year to you and your family. Isn't this cool? Like, 
Holy cow. I think we need to make one of these. Yeah. So thank you, Marilyn. I, lo I absolutely love this. It's absolutely incredibly gorgeous. Okay, next, I have more mail. This beautiful card, look at how pretty that is. This is from Christine Hoover. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, it's just, the paper does everything here, doesn't it? It's so, so pretty. Next up, oh, I love this one too. This is from a little girl and she's 10 years old. She's Molly's age. Her name is Andy. And she is sending me a thank you for all this stamping stuff. This is from Andy Ellers. And she made this card for me. And I gave her a, two big bags full of stamping stuff. Her and her girlfriend have started stamping together. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is the perfect place to give some of my retired stuff and some of my leftover designer paper, right? So I did. And that's the card she made for me. She is very talented. Next up, we have Suzanne Scott. <laughs> Isn't this crazy? This is that bedazzling paper we had during our last celebration. Oh, I wish they'd bring that back. That was crazy cool. But this is a new bundle from the JJ Mini catalog. From Suzanne Scott, thank you so much for the faux sea glass shapes and a prize for attending the team meeting. So Suzanne is part of my team. And um, she won a prize. I give away lots of prizes at my team meeting. We have one um, this week, Tuesday night. So that leads me to, if you guys, if anybody is interested in getting a discount on your product and being part of something so much bigger, join my team. Most of my team members are discount shoppers. You get a minimum 20% discount on all your future orders. And right now, when you join Stampin' Up! during celebration now until the end of February, you get $125 worth of stuff and only pay $99 for it. Plus, you get to choose two extra stamp sets at any price to add to your kit. So you can find that information right here. Um, two stamp sets for free, anything you want to your $99 kit that you get to pick $125 worth of product. You will find a $99 kit button in the right-hand column on my blog that will take you and tell you all the details about joining my team and all the good things you get. We just did that SHA, the Stamp Happy Academy website, open house this weekend. You get a free membership to that, a free basic membership valued at $19.95 each month when you join my team. This comes to me from Shannon West. I love the way that Shannon always does big, giant name and then the address. Isn't that fun? So Shannon sent me this card. Last week, I got a card from Sarah Douglas, the CEO of Stampin' Up! This week, I'm getting a card from Shannon West, who is my Demonstrated Development Manager. You are absolutely amazing. This card is overdue. Congrats on earning the incentive trip last year. Looking forward to celebrating with you virtually in May. Your year's card will be sent to you soon. We are catching up a bit. I am so thankful for you and all your amazingness. <laughs> Happy holidays to you and yours. That's from Shannon West. Shannon, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Then we have this gorgeous card. This is from Ingrid Harrington. I know Ingrid's on here tonight. Ingrid has a birthday next Sunday too. See, I can remember that. Um, this is a Christmas card from Ingrid. So, so pretty. I loved this painted Christmas paper. So pretty. Thank you so much, Ingrid. Next, we have Noreen Harrell. Look at that. There's that paper working for us again. Same, right? Same paper. It just does all the work and I love. And she used the embossing folder there. And I like this little bow. So, so pretty, right? Love this. Gorgeous card. Let's see. This is from my friend, Brooke. Brooke is one of my helpers. And thanks so much for the beautiful card and the gift. So I, I give my helpers gifts. <laughs> And so Brooke made this, and I thought this was really neat. It's a single quarter sheet of cardstock, and I love the way she decorated it and made like a note card out of it. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Next up, 
we have, hang on, this is from, oh, this is Brooke's Christmas card. Isn't that pretty? Love this. Absolutely beautiful. I love the two um, designer paper and then the embossing folder. This is that embossing folder. Who won that tonight? Um, mm, mm, I can't remember, but it's the Wintry 3D. Yeah, that's the snowflake one. So very, very pretty. Gorgeous card, Brooke. Thank you so much. Guess what, you guys? I think that's it for tonight. Yeah. So join my team. Place orders. Um, join my technique club. <laughs> Order my card kits. <laughs> you guys know how much I appreciate you, right? I really do. Thank you so much for joining me. Give me a thumbs up. Share my video. Um, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your night tonight to spend it with me. I am absolutely honored. Have yourselves a fantastic week. Don't forget, I have two blog hops coming up this week. Sign up for that catalog kickoff. It's only $10. You will not be disappointed. I'm not kidding. Three live classes coming your way, exclusive content, and um, it's only $10. You'll love it. All the information is on my Facebook page and also on my blog. Have yourselves a wonderful week. For those of you in the frozen tundra, stay warm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye.